Hello, my name is Chris Richter. Great to have you back again. We're looking at hiding and showing content using CSS and Bootstrap. Something really, really simple to do. But before that, make sure you like, subscribe, and also check out the Moodle courses on how to use the Moodle LMS uh, and some other tech courses as well that I've got there. They're in the comments below, uh, in the description below. So check that out. But let's have a look. There may be a scenario where you have a student who you, you have some questions for a student you want to ask them but then you want to provide an answer for them but you want them to think about it first before they read all the example responses so you can have a button on your page that students click on when they click on it it opens up the rest of that content or another example or scenario maybe that you have some basic information and then you have some more detailed information that just makes the page too big and long if it's visible the whole time you can hide it behind a button so that people can then click on it and then it opens or expands the content for them to see. So it's quite simple. It looks like this. We have the button here, see example. We're just inside a page at the moment. Click on see example and the content appears inside there. Uh, they can click the button again for it to disappear. Quite simple, nothing complicated, but let's have a look at how that's created. Again, it is very, very easy to do. It's using Bootstrap because we're using the Moodle 4.0 default theme that has Bootstrap in it. If we go to Bootstrap and have a look at what's called Collapse, just here, you'll see there's a little bit of code. Now, the only bit of code we're actually using is this button here called, um, it says button with target, because that's the example, button with target. And then another div with some content inside it using, in this case, a card to show that content. So the things to remember are, first of all, all I did was take this little bit of content here I did remove or leave that paragraph in, put that paragraph back in. I just took out that button because we don't need that for this example. But it's basically that bit of code there, minus that, that creates this for us and makes this interaction happen. So let's jump back to our code. When we click on it, see example, let's look at the settings, go into the page, have a look at the HTML, and you'll see all we've got here is a paragraph with a button. Now these are the important things. When you click on the button, it uses this data toggle to do this collapse, this hide and show process. But the data target with the hash collapse example has to match the ID of this part here, in particular, this ID. So what it's doing is when they click on this button, data toggle collapse says, go and find collapse example with the ID, hash means ID, Go and find the object with the ID collapse example. When you find it, uh, toggle that either hide or show. And then we have an extra class here that's collapse, which just means that when you first go to that, it's hidden. And then when they click on it, it will then change the, the class and open that up and they get to see it. So important thing, if you want to have two of these on a page, if we just copied this over and put two of these collapse objects in the page and save and display. If I click on see example, it actually opens up both. And that's because that ID is trying to find all of those IDs in the page that match the button. So we need to change the numbering or the ID for this second one for it to work independently. So let's jump back into the code again. And we've got our first two there. And I might make that a bit bigger for you. Here we go. We've got ID collapse example and target collapse example. So we're going to change this to collapse example number number two. Actually, I'll switch back to this view. Collapse example number two, number two. So I'm matching the target ID so it matches the same as this ID. And I'll also change the controls for collapse example two as well, our controls, so it matches. That's all I have to do. When I save that now, example one works on its own, example two works on its own as well. They don't switch over the top of each other. So that's all you have to do to make that hide and show collapse work. It's really simple, lots of things you can do with it. Inside the content, you can have text, you can have images, you can have basically anything you need inside there. Uh, it works brilliantly. You can put it in columns, you can do all sorts of things with it. But hopefully that's useful to you and you better use that in your education content. Remember, check out the courses down the bottom in the description and Moodle, and I'll catch you in the next video.